term midpoint evaluation, I sort of, uh, there, there's this big opportunity for me to learn from my students um, in terms of, you know, the aspects or the components of the course that are working well and, you know, where there is room for improvement. So in reality, I sort of look at midpoint um, teaching evaluation sort of as a quality improvement initiative or project. Sort of encourage the students to um, get in touch with us with any questions or concerns uh, they may have around their learning or my teaching style and uh, other components of the course. And making sure that the students understand that um, you know these uh, sort of um, um, surveys or whatever approach you're using to collect the student feedback is actually anonymous and um, does not include sort of identifying the individual student, I think would be really important. sort of did about that was that you know for example with respect to requirement for group discussion you know originally they were expected to sort of make two posts so I sort of reduced that to one post per week and um, you know this is just an example of um, how I sort of responded to their concerns so I shared that feedback or shared the results of the midpoint teaching evaluation with the students so you know, for example, 50% of you or 60% of you on the midpoint teaching evaluation um, um, informed me that the course or the workload associated with the course was concerned to you. And in response to that, these are the changes that I will be making to the course. clear goals and guidelines from the get-go with the students and to be to be honest about you know what can be changed this term and what will be considered in terms of redesigning the, uh, the course for future terms so you need to make sure that you're actually um, honest with the students and that you let them know that not all of their feedback is going to be reflected in redesigning the course while they're in your classroom. Um, you know, also let the students know that this is like any democratic process, changes will reflect the feedback from the majority. As I said earlier, we cannot accommodate it's really difficult to accommodate everybody's needs and especially when they are sort of conflicting and so in that uh, situation um, you would want to make sure that the students understand that the majority will dominate and maybe that way you can actually sort of encourage your students to participate and take part in the midpoint teaching evaluation.